Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to the controller tab and over here select disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game. You have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can even try to enable the Steam input and then check. if. If disabling does not work, you can enable it and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. But for many players, disabling Steam input has worked. Now, the next step is to disable Steam input and then restart your computer. So make a right click on the game, go to properties and then go to the controller tab and then select disable Steam input and then now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next, is, next step is to update controller using Xbox accessories app or PlayStation accessories app. Now open Microsoft Store on your computer and you can type in Xbox accessories app and you can install Xbox accessories app. Once installed, you can launch, launch Xbox accessories app and then you have to connect your controller using the USB cable and then you will see once you connect it, the controller should be highlighted over here and you should be able to see uh, click on the three dots click on it and then if there is any update you will see update now option so you can click on update and let the update complete and once the update is complete now you can relaunch the game and then check similarly if you if you have playstation controller in that case install playstation accessories app so you can open in Google, you can search for PlayStation Accessories app. You can go to PlayStation website and then you can download PlayStation Accessories app and then you can install PlayStation Accessories app. After installation, you can launch PlayStation Accessories app and then you can connect your controller. If there is any update, in my case, it's already up to date. So if there is update option, you can hit update update your controller and then you can check still not working in that case the next step is to playstation controller user use ds4 windows so you can install this ds4 windows if you have it installed you can use ds4 windows if not installed you can search in google install ds4 windows and configure your controller and then you can check Next step is to launch Steam in Big Picture mode and then check the controller. So at the top right here, you can see Big Picture mode icon. So click on Enter Big Picture mode icon. Now, once Steam is in Big Picture mode, now you can launch the game from here and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to... Now, the next step is to disconnect all the additional usb adapter connected to the computer so if you have any uh, usb adapter connected which you're not using disconnect it unplug keyboard launch the game and then you can check disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjoy etc running you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then you can launch the game and then check the last step is to use wired connection so you can connect your controller using the usb cable and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel